Okay, 9.5, the Doppler effect. This is the last lesson in our chapter 9, and it's also going to be for us the last lesson in this unit. So it's a short lesson again, but it's an important idea to understand. It is the Doppler effect, which is when an observed frequency changes because the source is moving. The source is moving. And we have an example down below of a fire truck that's moving and it has a siren. You've probably all experienced this before. You'll hear a siren from a fire truck or an ambulance or something like that going by and as it approaches you it's one pitch and once it gets past you it's a lower pitch. And I'll play you an example right now. So hopefully you were able to hear that one. The siren once it got past the observer got lower in pitch. And so why is that happening? Well, you can see in the picture here, if all of these circles are the sound waves. The sound waves are emitted in all directions at the same time. And you can see that if you're in front, the sound waves are being squished together. Oops, the sound waves are being squished together because we're going in the same direction as our sound is. So that means all the sound gets closer together, which means that the wavelength gets shortened, which means that the frequency gets higher. Whereas if you're behind the sound, uh, the, the fire truck, you can see that the sound waves have gotten spread apart. All these waves are a lot further apart than they were on the front. So in the front, they get squished, you get a higher frequency. In the back, they get expanded, so you get a lower frequency. That's the whole idea. We have an equation for it. It is this. F observed, so the observed frequency, is equal to the speed of sound plus the speed of the detector detector over the speed of sound plus the speed of the source. And so we do have Vs and V source. Try not to get, get con too confused about the fact that there's two Vs that have S in them. Okay, and we multiply that whole thing by F0 the original frequency. Okay, so the speed of sound plus the speed of the detector over the speed of sound plus the speed of the source. Now, in a lot of, the, a lot of our problems, the detector, which is you, we're going to say that you're not moving at all. So the speed of the detector will be zero in a lot of our problems. But this is the full equation, and it works even if you're moving relative to the source as well. We'll see the, down below, we'll see the equation and how that works exactly. So. One last thing I'll say here is about the speed of the source, V source. Positive is away from the observer. And negative is towards the observer. which hopefully makes sense that you can think if it's going away from you, well, that's in the positive direction. Their, their distance is getting larger, and negative going towards you. This positive and negative does matter. It makes a big difference in your equation. Okay, let's try an example here. It says, suppose a fire truck is moving towards a stationary ob observer at 25 meters per second. The frequency of the siren on the fire truck is 800 hertz. We want to calculate the frequency detected by the observer as the fire truck approaches, and the frequency as the truck passes by. The speed of sound in this case is 342 meters per second. Okay, so we write down um, for part A, our equation is F observed is equal to, well, we have the speed of sound plus the speed of the observer. And I'm just going to put OBS for the observer here over the speed of sound plus the speed of the source times the original frequency. And this gives us 342 plus 0 over 
342 minus 25. And I say minus here because it's going towards me in this case. And this gives me 863 hertz. And that's my answer to part A. Part B, same thing. I'm not going to write the equation again. It's speed of sound plus speed of observer, etc. So I'm just going to put in the numbers now. We have 342 plus 0 again. The, the observer isn't moving. Over 342. In this case, the source is still moving at 25 meters per second, but now they're moving away from me. Once they've passed by me, they're moving away from me. So plus 25. And this gives me a value of 746 hertz. That's it. That's how we do these sorts of problems. You'll notice that the frequency as it comes towards me is higher, and the frequency as it goes away is lower. That should always be the case. As it's going away from you, the waves are getting expanded. So that's always a way to check to make sure you've got the right answers. You've got two homework problems there. I hope you enjoy them, and that's the end of the lesson.